1978, Ken and Claude. We are live. And uh, this is Coach Jack Dennis' Box Trend Channel. And this third night boxing with Golden Boy Promotion. And uh, it is actually already started. But I want to get some personal tips before we start this live chat. Last night, we did a live chat. And somehow, one of the spectators, uh, people in the chat, had the nerve, the, the audacity to, um, I want to say, the correct term is they cut into my chat, hack my chat, right? And the thing that had me off balance, right? I, 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 I'm I, going to take full responsibility for that based on the fact that I have been too, um, the word is for me, over for me with the chat session, right? And that I must cease and desist, right? That is hindering my ability to do my job as a professional analyst. And I'm not gonna let anybody get in the way of that. So from here on out, I will not be responding per se to the chat. They you'll they're welcome to join in, but I will not have uh, verbal communication with the chat like I did before. Not saying that I won't uh, honor the people in the chat, but to have conversations and ask questions unrelated to boxing. They ain't have it no more. No more. I think what, what occurred is um, somebody in the chat took my kindness for weakness, right? And that's okay. That's that's okay. Again, that's on me. But I will say this: if they knew me, if they knew me, they wouldn't play with me like that. That being said, we got a match on. Uh, Sadie Mirror versus Rivera. One of these uh, cast is from Oakland, California. Now, I'm assuming it's the guy in the dark, dark loot truck, right? And um, as it stands right now, this is the first round. It's a Four rounder. These guys are, are, are fresh to the box today, and let's give them a little respect by uh, critiquing them, critiquing them consistently with what they bring to the table. Now, this guy is probably Ontario. I don't know what that he is, whether he's from Ontario or, or and I made a mistake and, and labeled him open, but all I and say with surgery is one of these cats are from my home time, Oakland, California. Hello. You got in the dark. Both of them got dark. Is one darker than that? I guess one is would be considered. Okay. Santa Bar, Santa Beer, Santa Beer, Santa Beer. With the Santa Bear will be the taller guy, and Rivera will be the short guy. So I'll call it uh, given those circumstances. These guys have uh, limited professional skills, but you can tell by their movement, their uh, desire to want to punch the other guy's head off that they want to be in the boxing game for a while. The taller guy, uh, I'm going to say, is, appears to be hungry. He wants some action. This must be a rerun because they're talking about Hitchison Limon fight Saturday. This is a rerun, apparently. But it said Thursday night, but it alleged that it's Thursday night boxing, Pete. And we got the 
man. There he goes through this way. He just chilled, doesn't know what's going on. He knows what he had. You ever tried to tell him, oh, this guy's going to be a champ. Look, oh, look, here's a project. But I like it. Fourth and final round. Salvador so got a nice jab, and he is actually staying out the way of the shorter men, but not to say that's going to last all night. Wow. Rivera is in the corner, but he's trying to punch his way out. And uh, Salvador, Salvador is not letting him do it. Salvador. Salvador is um, acting like he's been in the ring uh, before this bout. Because he's acting like the way he's throwing these punches is like he's, he's been in the ring and knows the ring well. This is a four rounder and uh, They look good. Long jet, uh, actually, I think the taller guy, Sal, 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 Sal Dibor, Sal Dibor is, is the better of the two. Wow. Nice, nice body shot. Nice delivery, if I say so myself. And I do. The opening bell sounds like we're going to that body. Wow. Uh oh. This is a little sudden movement that AJ does, pivoting to the side, working the angles, throwing body shots in the pit stop. This kid, it's good move. The, 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 the Selden Ball is making uh, shots that a, a guy that's been in the ring only a short period of time. Uh, wouldn't normally know how to throw those type of shots, but this guy is showing something very special. Wow, nice one, two. And Rivera said that he ain't having it. He wants to, he comes to box. You cannot get it back, but you can repair it with Chromium Repair. It penetrates deep into the tube to actively repair acid leaking. I recommend Chromamal Repair. With new Chromamal Repair mouthwash, you can enhance that repair beyond brushing. They work great together. This is a golden boy for no reason. Wait a minute. That's it. Fight night what? So we do here at Golden Boy 49. When you get fights, get action. Respect to Andrew Rivera. Another block. Rodriguez serving the 29. That appears to be a good fight. Estrada versus Rodriguez. Saturday, uh, the 29th. Yeah. Uh, okay, no, they haven't had a decision uh, yet. Yeah. 
36. Your winner by unanimous decision here, still undefeated, Anthony Salvador Jr. Congratulations to AJ Salvador. Good for him. You're now 6-0. Anthony Salvador is the one by unanimous uh, decision. He well deserved. He's well deserved of that win. Uh, what do you guys think about my, 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 my new headphones? Not the chat, because I'm not I'm not responding to the chat. They're doing that same a little child stuff they were doing yesterday. So, so we're in the chat. I'm not really talking to them. I'm talking to those that see uh my new headphones. That, 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 that don't act like little kids uh in people's chats. You heard me? Those are some clean shots. They run the replay. And um Joshua Garcia versus Y'all. All gone. All win. All win. And this should, this, people, this should be a, 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 a big, great fight. Brian Garcia um, really, 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 really active out. And I think. The fight is for the fan base and the the rivalry that people had. No, the rivalry that that made this fight what it is has all been put to sleep. Our Ryan Garcia's childish antics. And Ryan Garcia took a perfectly big fight and turned it into a the same as the exhibition in my highly educated opinion. Now it's only one thing left for uh, nephew Devin Haney to do, and that's to go in and now. Ryan Garcia's lights on. How about that?
Coach Jackson is about to change channel. We are live at the Golden Boy Thursday Night Boxing. Live again, live. Be there or be square. Now. Is that just boxing on the zone? You can see some of the very best in mixed martial arts. Big names, big fights. Let's see what else is going on inside the cage. Hey, Bud, what's going on, brother? How, how, how the, the brother doing today? Shout out to Bud Boxing in the house. Bud, are you watching the, the boxing? I think it's Thursday night boxing. Are you getting that? This is a live event. Joshua Garcia from Marino Valley, California. He's seven and zero, man. We might have a, a, a fight here. Uh, uh, good people in the chat. I'm talking about the good people in the chat. I ain't talking about those idiots that hack people's uh, a chat like little 13-year-old kids. I'm talking about the grown-ups, right? We might have a good fight here. One of these uh, youngsters is, is, is uh, 7 and 0. Oh, thank you, bud. Thank you, brother. I've been trying to switch up, you know what I mean, coming new every now and then, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, let the, 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 the people know that we're trying really hard to be impressive and, and, and put on good work for y'all. That's what we're trying to do, bud. But, but thank you for the compliment. Now, thank you for a legitimate compliment from a, a legitimate boxing fan. Garcia? Oh, Gwen. All good. Uh oh. Uh, Garcia got a nice long jab. Nice long jab. Nice right. Nice long right hand. And he and he and he's working both of them. Uh oh. Uh, Alwyn is trying to put some work in, but he's having a problem because he's the shorter man and. Uh, Garcia's got that long, got those long arms, and he's letting them go. I want to, I want to. Hey, 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 boxing, boxing, baby, boxing, baby, Bills in the house. I want to, if I can see if I can find it, I want to share something with y'all. I thought this really entertaining. Let's see if I can find it. Because I actually I sent. 
I sent this to uh, a friend of mine because I thought it was so. Oh, yeah, here. I can go here. I thought this was so. Uh, this girl is so well trained. And I was speaking on this. Hold on. I was speaking on it. Now, listen, look at, listen to this. Look at this, y'all. Look at, look at this girl work. Look at her work. Remember what I said about never touching the bag? That's what I mean. And y'all can't see it now. Uh, went off. But that, that she, she is putting. She, I am, I am, I am impressed with her movement. Yeah, she do. No, she, yeah, 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 yeah. She using uh, the, the small bag for, for, his, for, for head movement, working on head movement, and the big bag for the purpose of punching. But she is never. She is never touching the bag, only punching the bag. Boxers today have a tendency to touch the bag, to stop the bag with the hand. A, a good boxer never touches the, touches the bag with his hand. What do you think about that, guys? Um, ain't, you pretty, ain't, ain't, ain't that pretty? That's pretty. Yeah, that's, that's that's pretty cool, guys. I like her. I thought, and she is, and she and she ain't a bad looking girl. I would like to know who trained her. I like to know. I want to feel like I find her background because she is somebody who I would like to. Uh, uh, do some journalism on. I'd like to interview her. Bree Hop. Bree? Yeah, okay. Somebody hack, hack. All I'm going to say is this. Somebody. Somebody is playing in my chat, and I know who it is. And. I'm, I'm, from here on out, I'm just going to ignore them, right? I think what I did was like I got to, I, I, I got to the knee with uh, people in the chat, and I'm not going to do it uh, again. So it's it does a disservice to the people that come to this chat to be entertained with the body. So that being said, uh, let's do some boxing. Yeah. Well, both of these youngsters are, uh-oh, I have to see that re a replay because he knocked him down. He knocked him down. Let me see, let me see what he's using. Uh-oh, he, oh, he, he, he came back with an overhand right. So he must have timed him. He must have timed Garcia pretty good, but he knocked him on his run. And, and he's the shorter man. Oh, he got a, he got a, a deep dash, fellas. It, it's not looking good. Both of them is a head butt. Let's see if we can catch that. Let's see if we can get an angle on that head butt. Both of them are, are bleeding uh, pretty profusely. Okay, both of you guys watch those heads, all right? You ready? Not to be on the head, but I'm in a second. 
I would like to have seen that it has to be it has to be a head, but because both of them are bleeding proficiency. It's a good fight. It's, it's a good fight. Uh, Boxing better meal. It's a good fight. Now, Garcia is 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 working a, a serious defense. He got his hands held up high, high where he's supposed to be when he got knocked on his rock. Uh, I guess uh, the corner told him to keep those hands up because he's keeping his hands up, and I don't anticipate him getting popped again like that. Thanks, uh, thanks, Dr. Bill. Dr. Bill. Dr. Bill. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Can we, oh, big Oh, he. Oh, he just. Actually, it was a. I don't know about that knock. Yeah, he did. He stepped into that knockdown. Uh, I don't need to, I need to say this. Chair uh, Zeus, I know that's you because you are the only one that say silly little childish things like shut y'all up, shut y'all up. You know what I mean? But that's okay because what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore your ass. You feel me? And hopefully one day you will grow up and stop playing the childish game because that ain't nobody but you do. Uh, uh, I was I know I can't, but I'm honestly like. He had a call earlier this week, like he always does. He said he stays in the gym, stays ready, because usually Monday they'll fight me. They're calling around looking for a boss. Boss made a deal. Why you say Tone Dog is trying to be a troll? What what what, what did Tone Dog do? Uh, boxing, box, uh, boxing, boxing. Somebody is, 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 is I, I don't know which one it is. It's either Terrence Dulles, Dulles or um, uh, Tone Dog 77. They got, they got my chat hacked out. And if you look at the screen, I, my name and my face is on the screen, right? Well, uh, boxing baby bill. Why would you say it's tone? Uh, 
Uh, Boxing Betty Bill. Are you saying Tone Dog have a history of doing that? Because, 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 because that's what you do for a living. Uh, Okay. Actually, I don't know who it is, but what I what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna have to um I. I, I, I don't know who's doing it. How about that? I don't know who's doing it. And it's Tone Dog 77. He, he's got a funny way of representing himself as a man. I just don't, I just can't believe that uh, people would, would stoop this low for humor, for fun, grown men. I mean, that's basically saying you, that you, you really don't have a life. Yeah, you know, both fighters, you know, it's an excellent headbutt. You know, and then stop it with both, you know, no contest. But she saw Garcia and the Golden Boy show, like in Tyler, 22. And he's looking way better tonight, you. Yeah. Again, Carol Zeus, I don't know who's doing it. I, I, I don't know who's doing it. But what I'm going to do is. I'm not, until I can get a, a handle on it, I'm gonna have to put down. I'm gonna have to start going on without a chat because this is too strenuous. It's too silly. I mean, it's, it's, for grown ups, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm just not gonna participate in this, and not gonna stop my. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop uh, doing what I love doing either, and that's dealing with people, with, with people that like love boxing. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna get back to the fight, and for those who want to. Uh, Sixty fights, his experience, his game. Because this is not an easy fight for a guy with only only seven fights. This is a game's sixtieth fight. Where is where where is where is? Where is where? Where is <laughs> that's what that's exactly what I'm gonna keep doing. I'm gonna keep grinding and I'm gonna ignore him. Garcia and Olga Ogwin. This is a pretty good fight. Both of them bleed like cows, though. Oh, now that was a good right hand. Oh, and that was a good left right hand from Ogwin. Both of them are bleeding pretty bad. So what round is this? This is round four. Randy 
Your grandpa uh, uh, knew Muhammad Ali. Uh, What was that at? Uh, boxing. What was that at? Boxing, boxing, Bader Bill, Bill, boxing, Bader Bill. <laughs> In the nineties, okay, okay. Fifth round, fifth, fifth, fifth round. Shout out, shout out to Go Up Records. Ship will sail in the house. I salute to you, Ship will sail. Glad you uh, came to the uh, uh, chat, brother, and um, salute to you. How's your day? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Box and Bader Bill. That's very interesting. Shout out to Ship Will Sell. What's cracking, uh, Ship Will Sell? They got a good fight uh, on uh, Golden Boy Fight Night. I didn't know Golden Boy had a fight night until today, fella. Got it, fellas. Whoever is playing the game, it's okay. Because I'm going to keep moving. Probably, probably, uh, probably whose wife? Bud Boxer, where you at, Bud? Water. Ship with sail. That's my, that's, that's right. All right, buddy. Who, wait a minute. Who, who asked who was in the background? Who asked that question? I don't see that. Oh, oh, I see it now. Who is that? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's the, that, that, that's, that's the wife, Box Bader Bill. Okay, that's 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 the white. The the, 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 the the podcast is is, is, is been uh the hat we got my uh, my podcast hat. Huh? 
Look. Uh, they did it? Yeah. They got me <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> on the screen. Huh? I can't. I, I can. I can. I don't want to do that though. I can just close the chat down, but I'm not going to do that. Why? Why? Yeah. Because I, I I don't think that I have to. I can keep. I can keep talking. I mean. I'm just gotta keep talking. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. You the man for real, for real. You are the man for real, for real. You got your head on where it's supposed to be. You ain't coming in to play. You can't really do what, 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 what we supposed to all be doing. Thanks, bud. Thanks, fella, for the respect thing because that's what it's about. I haven't. I, anybody heard from uh, 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 Tone Dog 707? Charles Bud Crawford? Tell, tell, uh, ship was there. Is the question who is Bud Crawford going to fight? Is that the question? I, 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 I don't know. I'm talking about way up here. Tone Dog 707 was way up here and said something uh, about it was, it was okay. It, uh, it, with my name is a uh, Jack Dan, uh, not from the boxes. Someone was that just he said, I am Tone Dog 707. He said, I was. And then he got again. I was joking yesterday. It was me. Now that could be anybody doing it. I don't know who the hell it was, but, but guess what, fellas? I ain't gonna lose no sleep over it. I'm gonna keep doing what I do. And that's talking about boxing, right? Y'all, whoever the, other, whoever the perpetrator is, right? We know it ain't. Now I know it ain't shit for sale because he wasn't here yesterday. And I know it ain't Bud Boxing because he, he, he wasn't here yesterday. And I don't know, it, I just don't think it's a uh, boxing baby's bill because it, uh, it, it, he just doesn't appear to have that type of character. I'm not going to go into any other detail, but I'm saying is it's okay. If, 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 if whoever the, whoever the perpetrator is and they enjoy making a, 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 a butt out of each other, that's, that's fine. We just going to keep moving. How was your day today, bud? Oh, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Now, hey, 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 ship with this quick. Man, that's a tough scrap. Okay, ship, uh, Terra Zulu, I, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna say it's you, I'm not gonna say it's anybody, right? So let's let that go. Let's get it, let's talk about some back. Uh, uh, the ship was still asked a question, and I and I and I couldn't. I didn't know if it was him through all the confusion. Oh. Uh, let me ask this question if I can. Uh, the fruit. Muhammad Ali, bit of boxing deal. Uh, Chip was said to your question. It has been said that Bud is fighting uh, uh, Jerome Ennis, Jerome Booth Ennis. That hasn't been confirmed, but it lines up with what uh, Eddie Hearns and Matt Room's promotion is about. Right, they want Matchroom is about making a big fight. They don't mind paying uh, the boxing. That's what I like about Matchroom. Matchroom does not mind paying the fighters and uh, 
a nice amount of money to get the big fights. To get the big fights up. And Judge Penelope announced towards it 57 56. Your winner by split. Somebody's still undefeated in the mini cover. Joshua, you're seeing it. Golden Boy got a got a pretty big, a pretty big, uh, uh, he went down to assess it earlier. How do you? Garcia won that fight. And Garcia got knocked on his on his on his run. Terra Zeus, what do you mean by that? Uh, Ali is my favorite fighter in history. Both of these kids have a future in boxing if they keep working at their crowd. They made a lot, both of them made a lot of mistakes, but that doesn't change the fact that they both have, uh, Good boxing desires. They want to be in the ring. And Garcia is the winner. Shout out to Garcia, fellas. We th- Bud, you, Bud, Bud. Yeah, Bud. 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 Uh, did you? Did you Did you did you see that last fight, bud? Well, Terrell Zeus, did you see that fight? Bud, did you see that fight? Grant Flory and Freddie Espinosa. I've seen Freddie Espinosa. Are you watching the fights? Um, what station? It's, a, it's, a, it's on um, uh, YouTube. YouTube, uh, Bud. It's on YouTube. Oh, hey, 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 hey Bud. You, you there? Okay, but I want to sh- show you something. Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> she is so, she is so pretty. She, she is something gorgeous. I mean, she putting in work. And and I spoke about this the other night. She never she never touches the bag with her hand. A boxer, a female boxer, just working out uh, and doing it, uh, 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 and doing working out like a true professional. I like her style. That's why I, I, I wanted to show her off in the, in, in the chat. Yep, absolutely, absolutely, but absolutely, absolutely. Now, not, 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 actually. Guys, she that's yeah, that's right, that's right. But, it, 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 but the thing that, that that attracted me to her is 
she never touch, she never touches the bag when she's working out or the big bag. And I, I yeah, it is. She's smooth. Ooh, that's pretty. Her name is Bree Howdy. She is she's gonna be a, a contender one of these days. Okay, uh, 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 box of beer bills. Peace out, brother. Oh, she is so, oh, she is so pretty. I mean, what's that, what's that, what's that her name? It's really hard to get someone with a big name in the ring against me, but I'm hoping that after this fight, we can get a big name for the championship fight. That's the only things I'm looking for, and um, I'm ready for the draft. So, uh, Bree Howling. Let me see if I can just pull up, pull up some, some more Bree. At the bully, watch the big names, and you'll see him April 20th, right before Amy and Garcia. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Right, our third fight coming your way. Let's look at the tail of the table for this one. Grant Flores is a tall 19-year-old. He should be fighting at 54 for a couple more years. He has all the advantages on his side. We can see that I was pretty. Let's be on side. Joe Martinez. This is Bree Howdy. Is she? Bree Howdy. Fatty X. Fatty X. Fatty X is the name of the headset. Okay, Charles, you get you some, get you some rest, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow. Get you some rest, bud. Hey, hey, bud. All right, all right, Cheryl. Do this. But, 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 when you when 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 you get a chance, pull up. Her name is Bree. B R E E. Howling. W O L. No. W H. Excuse me. H O W L I N G. Bree Howling. When you get time, pull up her uh, footage uh, 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 in, in YouTube. Okay. She's a little, she's a little fine, but she can scrap. She got a contract with somebody. I don't I'm gonna have to after 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 the show. I'm gonna pull her up and and do some history. Some history. Let me see if I can find her and do an interview on her. I like her. I like her style. She is some little lady. Flores versus Espinosa. A six rounder. What are these kids here? They look like they might be uh uh lightweights. Couldn't be they couldn't be more than, than a junior lightweight. 
uh, super lightweight. Lightweight to uh, uh, super lightweight. What happened to uh? Tone Dog 707. Now, uh, Tone Dog 707 is the only one that ain't been in, in the chat tonight. And I find that to be really, really odd. Tone Dog 77. Now, Tone Dog 77, I know where your ass is at. So you are really not in a good place to be playing with me. And you really don't know me. Uh, you, you heard me? Oh hell no! He he saw he get him out of there. Get him out of there. Get him. Oh, hell no. Bud, did you see that? He just laid down. <laughs> But I've seen this kid. This kid here is pretty good. him out with a body shot. Did you see it? I've never been, I've never been harmed. Not to that back. One time I was in the ring, uh, in the ring boxing, uh, I was uh, middleweight and I was boxing with a welterweight. And um, I was untouchable because my, my philosophy has always been float like a butterfly. Thing like a beat, right? That, that means I'm, I'm con constantly moving and flicking it, that jab, right? Flip that jab and, 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 and bobbing and weaving, right? On the bicycle. How about that? So we're in the ring, right? And this is the first time I've been in the ring with Kenny Eagle, may he rest in peace, right? And Kenny Eagle was, 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 uh, was damn good, also. He was, I mean, Kenny Eagles could whoop a lot of. Professional during the time that we boxed, he was that good, and uh, uh, I was like, no, he was so that you know what I was, right? So, anyway, to make a long story short, we're in the ring, right? And I'm bobbing and weaving, right? I'm sticking and moving, flicking that jab out there, cover across with the right, jab, cover across with the right, right? And somehow I missed a weave and he slid in under me. And came and pivot no and and, and and faded to the right and came up with a with a uppercut to my to my to my solar text, right? Now I actually it didn't hurt, but to this day that was over 20 years ago. And I was I remember it as though it was just it. That's because 
I was so good in my movement, I thought, right, that to be put in a position where he slipped in with, 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 with he slipped in under my movement and hit me with a, a, a hook body shot. It was like, how the hell that happened? Right. But I, I never forgot that. It's a blessing. I thank God for it. I thank God for my and I thank my dad for pushing me and never giving up on me. My team, the guy Coach Jordan, Alico, Ben, Jermaine Hernandez, man. Boxing is beautiful. All I have to do is say the word Coachella. And this place goes crazy for you. You always pack this out, especially with your cousin. I, I need to find out where. Uh, uh, where well, uh, uh, I'm thankful, like I said, it's a blessing for God, and especially I have the whole Coachella Valley on my back. You know, God says, for those of you who I need to find out where Roy Jones is. Roy Jones belongs in Florida. He gets the first. Round KO in a big small yeah, he could be. It's a possibility because he got him clean with a with a good, uh, healthy body shot. He, he could be hurt. I know. I it, 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 uh, Flores was the winner. I, I I didn't catch I didn't catch the other guy that name, but uh, that that was the type of shot, but that uh, ends people's careers. And he's the type of boxer that. A good healthy shot like that, he might be through boxing because he said. I mean, when 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 the referee asked him, did he want to continue? He said, "Oh no, he 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 didn't really come to box." Okay, that was Olga Olga. Since we, and that's a, that's a, that's the, that's one thing about uh, Oscar De, De La Hoya, right? He uh, most of these boxers are from California, and a, as we well know, Oscar De La Hoya hails from California. So he does everything he. What I'm saying is he does everything he can to make sure uh, his boxers, which are out of California, get the healthy dose uh, of, of, of boxing. April 27th, the week before, it was Ryan and Devin. They were going to see Ramirez. That's Saturday, 20, 27. Pick up a card in Fresno, California. That's a grand outside Gabe Rosado. And Gabe, you look at him there, Ramirez, the former world champion. You're going to see him back in the ring. The first time with Golden Boy, you seem to have a good energy about him. Sometimes when you see him, uh, 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 Oscar De La Hoya's uh, uh, boxes. Are Hispanic? Nothing wrong with that, but he caters more, more, more so to, to, to his people, and, that's, and and again, there's nothing wrong with that. I I, I wish that that uh, there it, it was more promoters, black promoters, that catered to uh, their own people as well. I was I was actually. Wait, waiting on and trying to encourage uh, Bill Haney to see if we can put, figure out a way to get sponsored, get, get big time sponsors like. Big, big sponsors, so we can put on some, some uh, events. But I don't think. Who is that? Look, who, who is this guy here? Oh, uh. Tone Dog 707. Where you at, uh, uh, dude? You know, he's a 
sounds like at 154 pounds in the summer or in the fall, there could be something big lined up. And we saw what happened over the weekend with Zuma Kundora. Oh, he left that chin wide open. He said, hit it. Oh, Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz. I, I have I, 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 I'm sending out a, a, an alert for uh, I'm sick of a TV. I think I'm sick of a TV has uh, dropped the ball. Uh, that really saddened me. That guy uh, in, in, the, uh, in the silver trunk is boxing like uh, uh, Mikey Garcia. Yeah, he was looking look like Mikey Garcia. Uh, but. Rivera. Flores versus Rivera. Austin De La Hoya is <laughs> Austin De La Hoya is not playing. <laughs> he, he, uh, he not playing. Tone Dog 707. Tone Dog 707. Really, 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 really. Uh, ship will sail. Ship will sail. This guy looks like this guy looks like he's coming in there to fight. He's coming in there to whoop somebody. Garcia 
<laughs> in the house in the house in the house okay i'm testing myself i got myself on two different uh instruments so i'm, I'm actually Trying to see something here. Yep. Pump and break. Pump and break. Pump and break. Pump and break. I gotta keep doing it because I gotta get my my hours, my watch hours that good. I think I won't be able to have to have feel the station looks like it's a watch hour, but I gotta get this is good. Once I get the station uh, built up, you and I are going to collaborate, brother. You got my word on that. You and I I 
I didn't get, I missed that, but he obviously, wait a minute, he wasn't the, that was he was, he came in, that's the one I said he came to fight, but actually I missed that, I was looking on the internet for something else was important when he, as it pertains to boxing, and I actually missed the knockout, how dare me. Seconds. 
protect yourself at all times, meaning you have to keep your hand up at all times. Okay. 
anything other than your Golden Point Fight Night in India, California. The coffee walks final punch set. It only left in a minute or two minutes into the second round, and and Gloria was going to have a game of his fights. And I'll show you the last one. Okay, so we're starting with a couple of decisions. AJ Salvador, Joshua Garcia was tested, and then a first round KO, a second round KO. What will we get in the main event? Tito Sanchez, Eric Ruiz. Let's take a look at what you get with your subscriptions in the song. You're home for boxing big things and then fights. <laughs> Your garage on cars.com lets you track your car's value over time. So you'll be the driver's seat for whatever's next. Cars.com, where to next? Hey, Chuck, I know why you're here. Hmm. You want to move bigger? The truck dog. You got a couple of bucks in it. It only takes one, eh? But I know you're not all about filming hay makers. You know your bugs and your leaves. And you know this office that over 100 live events every year. Over 100. You cut the sound with the actual chaos and combat. The most of the combat. Big flags every week. So get those gloves back. Get our wear boxing rings. The zone. Undisputed. Thank you, Anna. Oh, a lot of big time action coming your way on the zone. Yeah. 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 Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, they're going to battle a personal score. Go so back to the amateur days, and that's for Haney's super lightweight title. And Cinco de Mayo weekend, Las Vegas, future Hall of Famer Canelo Alvarez, who's back in the ring to take on a Mexican. Ryan Munguia, this is for Canelo's championship match at the Super Bowl League Division. And after Tyson Fury cut himself in sparring, May 18th is a new day for the undisputed heavyweight clash between Fury and Usyk, live on the zone from Saudi Arabia. Back here ringside, Beth Graham alongside Gabe Rosado. We've had some good action, Gabe. Both of them fight night about developing young kids, giving them opportunity. And the formula, you got shot. You got put on the show. You got man. Big great fights. Mm-hmm. All right, so before we get to the main event tonight, Canelo, Mungia, it's going Cinco de Mayo weekend. I'm not going to be working, but I'm going to go. Because you got to see the Canelo fight. Canelo is the older fighter. He's taking on Munguia, the younger fighter. And here's the ring ratings where Canelo's on top. Munguia, number five. Canelo, you know, everybody's like, what about Benavides? Well, it's not Benavides. It's Munguia, who is undefeated, has been asking for this fight. He got it. Look, this is a great fight. We're both fighters had a confidence. you right. You know, and Mungia was able to do what Canelo did do, which was stop the rider in an impressive fashion. Yeah, and I was Mungia because he stopped the rider. I mean, I love this, but you would think that's why he got the Canelo fight. Because if he had done the distance rider, what he going to do? But not only did he stop rider, he dominated that fight. He looked impressive in the entire fight. Okay. Yeah, Mungia now working with Freddie Rose, but Canelo Alvarez is just Canelo. Okay? Yeah. He is older, he's not as fast. But the intelligence. Hey, what's up, bud? Knowing how to fight, knowing what um, to do. Very, very dangerous on the game. Oh, absolutely. I actually, I, I didn't get you catch it, but I was trying to figure out. Um, I'm trying to get some information on. And, you know, Freddie Rose is adding a few elements to Mungia's game. No, this thing's a mess right It should be coming up next, brother. And you're going to speak about that because you haven't had any training, but when you're with the Freddie, What's the thing that stood out for you? It doesn't make any difference. It's just from Freddy's offense. Mangia. Hey, he's just not showing you boxing technique. He's in your head. You know, he's pushing you mentally. And that does a lot for a fighter. And Mangia looks completely different. Hey, but what do you think about, about Mangia? Is Mangia, is Mangia, can, can Mangia compete with Canelo? It's so much fun that Secret of Miles weekend. It's been a while since we've got the Canelo on Secret of Miles. We get to see that. That's the vibe, that's the energy. You'll see that live on the zone when you check this out, though. You look at it, you want to know what's going on, right? Canelo, he is going to be great. Devin and Ryan going to be great. So many good fights, but our main event tonight, what will Dito Sanchez do? Dito Sanchez taking on 
Eric Ruiz, a very game veteran. Nico Sanchez has grown up beautiful all last year on the Golden Boy Fight Night Series. He's undefeated, not the biggest personnel. Doesn't like to lose the interviews. But yesterday, gave at the fighter meeting, this kid showed up. He's got a little fire to him. Uh -huh. like, he's just like, wait a minute, look. I'll, you should be paying attention to me. I like his attitude now. Not for sure, but he reminds a little bit of his promoter, uh, Koto. You know, that's a great point. That's a great point. You know, Koto was all business. He didn't really have to talk much because he did all the talking with his hands. And that's how Sanchez is. Man, Tito is a pressure guy. He attacks the body. And I expect him to win big today. He has to win big in order for him to go to that next level. All right, we're done with the undercard. Four fights are done. What will the main event have for us tonight? Let's get it started. Sanchez uh, versus Super Bantamweight, 10 rounds. Sanchez versus Ru Ruiz is the next. Oh, okay. Okay. So he has no credibility. It actually, uh, but he has no credibility. And 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 it could it could be safely said that um, Mangia was cherry picked by Canelo. I get this because you 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 know boxing. As soon as I get this, this thing acclimated, as soon as I get this, this, this podcast acclimated and, and uh, get all of the amenities associated with what uh, YouTube's got for people that get their uh, YouTube uh, monetized. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you on, bro. Sanchez doesn't care about that. Nico Sanchez is looking for the bigger picture right now. 
Do you want to see that knockout? Well, we get that. Diego Sanchez is not one of the more familiar in the super bandwagon division, but this old school fighter at a Cathedral City, both his rise as a prominent, will continue as he wins and they win and start piling up. Will a championship belt be added to his fighting resume? <laughs> I'm trying to find out where. I'm back, bro. Okay, bro. Got you. And that's on the one. So I can just stick this thing acclimated up to speed to where it's supposed to be. Are you going to have something to do with this program? Let me see. Um, like Marquez, or I get a lot sometimes. Like childhood with my head movement and countering to the body shot. I just like playing um, so you know, not running around the boxing. I feel really excited, like getting a fight here my hometown again, you know, get my family, my friends, another great, exciting fight. Like it's a big opportunity for me to show everybody what I can do in the ring again. I say like a couple more great, exciting fights, like how I did like, against Southern Bonnie. I think his um, volume of punches, I controlled him with the body, it's what killed his arms and his conditioning. So from there, I just took up a round of the fight with the body punches. You know, Kiko Sanchez is a combat mm. fighter, he's like the old school type style fighter. Uh, he got nothing fancy in him. He's just there, he's a dog, he's just there to fight. He had that old school defense, old school head movement. He was just on top of the couple of him. Now he can actually get the body, he can get the head, and he just gets the look. Maybe a couple of fights, two, one, one or two fights away, and he'll be, a, he'll be a world champion. Trust me, this guy will be a world champion. Having my hometown crowd there, it's really okay. exciting. Like, it really pushes me and motivates me. It gives me like an extra boost. They keep just throwing punches. They give, it, give them an exciting fight. What they can expect with this coming up fight on April 4th with um, Eric Reeves, it's going to be another exciting fight. It's going to be so so back and forth, knowing that no one has ever dropped him as well. And he can take a punch. And you have to see how take a punch too. So it's going to be back to back. It's going to be fireworks on that fight. And he's going to catch this. We're going to lock in. We're going to tell him to take our main event here, Brother Boy Fight Night. Rui, slightly taller, a small reach advantage. He's the veteran with 20. I'm trying to figure that boxer's name. Houston. All right, Joe Martinez. Let's hear it. Work the peekaboo. I keep getting names. One of the time, one of the time. that Super Ray Leonard, Tommy Hurley. He was right before the, the, the start. Same thing in his name. He used to have black boxing trunk. Okay. Eric Ruiz. Hmm. I wonder what's going on with the Charlie Twins. I haven't heard anything about them of late. Show last December. But 
is who he was 10 years ago. He is the same way now. We know what to expect. For Lee, the difference with him is that I finally have a training camp. Normally, I get called hey, you this week. I'm a welcome. I did a real blue collar job. This time he had five weeks and he took this week off from work. Just a huge mm, different, nice. different approach, different attitude for Ruiz. He's in with that left hand. Just keep those switches southpaw. He'll do that a lot. He does different looks. And you know what's in early, but you know, Ruiz is kind of set and simple on the fight in his first round. Just kind of back, back it up. He's so definitely, you know, um, that's it. He's kind of set its own. It's got some pretty nice slippery moves. He'll switch and point the dice to southpaw, but it's not bothering the week at all. No problem at all. The veteran Ruiz. How did he do in 2011? Final seconds of the opening round. Schedule for 10. All the way to fight night. Thursday. That is a pretty good defense, y'all. On the money. That one right there is a few uh, see the one balance. Good shots. Nice short up of cut too. Finishing that combination. Thank you. Down with you. Little kitty guys, y'all. You can see the score with some of them. You really don't in that first time. You see the last. Right. 
And everybody here on the pizza section, we believe might have a couple of people. That was nice right there. We'll reach in. You put a right hook to the body. You pin it to the side. Nice little short movement. So it's working. Rolling shots right there. You know, two has to start digging that body and slow me down. I like Sanchez. Sanchez is, is really slick. Sanchez is really, really slick, very sharp. Thank <laughs> you. 
Slick as hell. Power through four on the side of 
Chico Sanchez in green. Nicely, right in front of your face. Pressure, four punches. 
This is a good fight for both these kids to put in the proper work. Both these guys, bro. Both these guys. Super, 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 sharp, super slick. Just loading up. 
Clean, uh, man. They got these guys. Both of them. These guys are well trained, and they the, the condition very well conditioned. Both of them for the for the punch punches that they're throwing. It, it's indicative that they put in a lot of work, road work. I mean, calisthenic. You name it. Whatever it takes to be conditioned. Both of these guys are conditioned, and that's to be commended for, for, for what they do in the sport. True. We 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 starting to get more like free boxing, and I think that's good in the state of boxing as it is today, right? Where everything isn't predicated on pay per view, pay this and pay that, right? Free TV, right? Back in the days, it was a lot of free TV, right? The promoters got their money through advertising, but today it's about big corporations paying the uh, the the Al Heyman's. Big large sum of money to put on these, these big fights. That's true, but that's true. Uh, this is how the young generation can learn the sport, the sport, the sport again. Yeah. 
while we get true. Man, get it, get it. Get, keep getting large doses of, of free TV and, and, and let these kids get interested. In a lot of instances, uh, the younger generation have shied away from the sport. But this will um, rejuvenate them, this, this, you know, like free TV. I think it is, it is good. And we want to commend um, Oscar De La Hoya for putting on these events. These guys, both of them got some good defense. These guys are, 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 are for real, for real warriors, both of them. I thought that was the uh, tenth round. What? Yeah. 
man. It's, 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 it's hard, man. It's hard. That's just respect it, man. I've always been paying him the person who is keeping the voice over the night. Now, that's the he has. He's taking the pounding and he's those hatches. He's a former number one. And he's been trying. He's yeah. fighting, man. He's trying to get his last round. He's got his hat going. The team is like, look, 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 Ruiz is going to try to hold on and survive. This is the team. Yeah, it was just a third round. He goes out and just picked his hand really low. I'm just going to get any kind of shots that Ruiz can set him back. That was a good fight. That was an entertaining fight. These kids went out there and put it all on the line. I'm quite sure they'll give it to uh, Ruiz, the shorter guy, but the, 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 uh, the shorter guy put on uh, a display of box. Both of them did, really. It wasn't easy. 
control the fight, but knock down. Is he a grandfather? You go in the water? Yeah, I like to swim. Get spotted on that. I'm going to the board to fight tonight. Somebody about to swim for him. Keep going. And then in your car, he's going to keep you in. Yeah, he's going to like to swim after he picked it up after that. He made some big, big shots. Throw him by his chest. Look at Louise right there. Yeah, Louise, when he picks up around, he's going to keep going. There, instead of taking on the push, he's going to put around for five shots. Oh, that body shot right there, I don't even know how he survived that round. I thought he was going to go down. Up yeah, it was a, an amazing fight. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. All right, that's a good thing too. He, 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 he's good, it's good to be in six, bro. That's a good thing. That's what they take care of their machine. Their body to their machine. They gotta take care of their machine. So that's a good thing. Okay. That's right. That was a that was a. Okay. Almost 450 punches from by people who are very active as well. Oh, punches. That was a good, that was a, 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 a during good fight. Trust me. But this dude, for him, started slow. Yeah, he was like, he made up for it. That's what he did. All right, we're going to fight the one for tonight. AJ Sandy Live got the decision. Rosh Garcia got tested against Duel B and got the split decision. Then KO for the cousins, Grant and Maggie Florida. When people get the unanimous decision. If you can, yeah, if, you, if, 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 if you can, if you can, uh, how you going to do that? If you can, sure. I, I, I would be uh, more than pleased to rate your uh, physique. Yeah, that's cool. Man, I thought he didn't get the knockout, but he put on a great performance. I think he's ready for the big fights. All right. Can we see him on a Saturday night pretty soon? Absolutely. No, absolutely. That 122 pound division is very, very interesting. Only 13 fights for Rafiko Sanchez. Um, but I think he's graduated from the fight night. For sure. That's what it's all about. Oscar DeLoy came with that idea. Go the boy fight night. So there go the president to give these young fighters an opportunity to showcase themselves on the zone. Through the week, and we thank you, the fans are watching all over the world. So good, we saw some good knockouts too. Gucci Man, more than Grant, absolutely. Yeah, Grant, oh, thank you. Pretty much, pretty much, well, twenty. Jump in that for the Ricky, not me. All right, thank you, all right, game. So, when you see these young fighters, they put on a show, that's all you can ask for. Yeah, for them. When you go and you move on, though, of course, people said you gotta work on, you know. He starts off slow, but you know that's common with certain guys that make punches. You know, Tito Trinidad was a slow starter. You know, that's that's common. But he makes up for it because the punch out put eight, yeah. almost nine hundred punches. Yeah. So he he definitely made up for it. He put on a great performance. Did everything he was supposed to do. But Ruiz was stubborn. He didn't cooperate. He didn't go down. But Tito put on a hell of a performance. He's fun. Yeah, I like the entertaining fighter. Yeah, if you're gonna go out there, you better put on the show. So we have five fights for you total. So uh, we've got the knockout, the decisions. It's all about giving these young fighters an opportunity to grow. And just definitely get seeing all of that. Uh, so, Banksy Springs is our home for the way of fight night. Thank you, as always. They put on a great show. Woo! Man, I'm tired of watching all the bunch of films like Diesel and Eric Ruiz. And that's a wrap for everybody behind the scenes of Great Night Boxing here on The Zone. Great job by the crew, great job by the producer, our director. Our A1, our A2, Sailor, everybody involved. Thank you so much for a great fun.
people so we had a good night tonight we're gonna wrap this up and uh be back tomorrow you can get that picture ready and in the meantime hit the subscription button hit the the, the like button and share my videos with your friends and family but you're an excellent gentleman Thank you for all that you do. I'll see y'all tomorrow. With that, later.
and Duarte has a very slight reach advantage. Alejandro Salinas with Puerto Rican, mom and dad, and let's go. Move to Ohio, and down Ohio to be exact. He's going to go trust the Mexican fighter Duarte in the black and white. 20 year old Salinas, 19 year old Duarte are opening now at the LA Fight Club at the Velasco Theater in downtown Los Angeles. What a good way to get the weekend going with some action coming your way at Fight Club is quickly become the spot to be in LA on Friday nights to check out boxing. You just have it once a, once a month. It's a time we'll give it to you twice, though. And, and that's good for these young guys like Salinas and the other fighters um, who are featured on this um, LA Fight Club undercard. When you're 19 to 20 years old, you should fight more than once a month as long as you get out of your fights healthy. As long as you don't hurt your hand or suffer a cut or anything like that, why not go every other week? That's how they used to do it. And I'm honestly, I'm loving the speed and power and technique that we're seeing from Slane so far. So, Linus, like most Puerto Ricans, favorite fighter, Tito, also one of his other favorite fighters, goes the Philippines for Pacquiao. On Ring TV Live, we're worldwide, we give you all the countries. And you mentioned the speed. Turned out of a Southside Boxing Club in Dunstown. Quickly, you see some heavy hands from the 20 year old Salinas. Yeah, Jack Lowe tells me that the kid's power is real, and Jack Lowe knows something about power. He trained Kelly Pavlin from his first amateur bout all the way to the middleweight title, the undisputed middleweight championship of the world. Kelly Pavlin, Pavlin, one of the, the, the hardest punching middleweight champs of uh, recent memory. Halfway through the first round, we're scheduled for four. Good body work from something that's going upstairs. The one is quickly doing that power, covering up the final drama. Chihuahua Mexico. Upstairs go to Selena. Do the overhand right. <laughs> I can tell right away that um, Selena is a Tito fan and a Manny Pacquiao fan because he is very offense minded, and uh, that's a great thing, great for the, the audience here. But I do think. He's loading up a little too much uh, early on in this battle. Well, he's had three pro fights, three first round knockouts. His last fight was in June of 2015, so he's fresh. In fact, in Youngstown, when he fights, uh, he's all over the news. They're using him. Oh, yeah. But, you know, no, he is a last year from Youngstown. And see, he, he squared up right in front of Duarte when Duarte's back was against the rope, and he just stood there. Right in front of him, like a brick wall, and that's why you got tagged in the tournament. Tag on the left side. Yeah, I, I think Selena needs to uh, settle down a little bit and 